As you guys have seen in the past, I have very mixed feelings on ClassPass. And over the past few months, I've seen a lot of studios that seem like they're thriving actually shut their doors. And I've actually seen firsthand how ClassPass has played a part in this. Let me just reiterate it for the people in the back. I'm on ClassPass. I understand. Shit is expensive, okay? And I don't blame the client. But unfortunately, this platform has kind of created this vicious cycle. So I'm just laying out the facts so that you have a little bit more knowledge of what you're paying for, where your money's actually going, and that's it. So today I've got four pros of ClassPass that can very easily turn into cons for a studio. So the pro, ClassPass does the marketing for you. So if I'm in a new neighborhood, one of the first things I do, I always open up my ClassPass app and see what's nearby. I also love scrolling down and looking at the new to ClassPass options, see what new studios have just joined. You know, most recently Rumble has actually just joined ClassPass as well as a few other big names. So I think it is actually an amazing marketing tool to help get your name out there and get your brand across to people who may have never heard of it before. Now, here's where it can very quickly turn into a con. It is very difficult to convert a ClassPass client into a direct through the studio client. Basically, it's really hard to get people to leave ClassPass and just buy directly from you. And if you couldn't guess, the studio makes a lot less money when you book through ClassPass than whether you book directly through their studio. Now, here's the issue. ClassPassers are also paying a lot less to go to your studio. So why would they pay more when they can pay less? So now unfortunately, even though you have gotten your name out there and you've gotten all these people into your studio, you're literally competing against ClassPass, this marketing tool, to sell your own classes. And there actually has been a lot of research on, well, if a studio just took themselves off of ClassPass, would those clients just come through the studio? The answer is no. <laughs> if a studio drops off ClassPass, most of the time, the client will just go find another class that's similar. Especially in New York City, we have so many options. People will just find another option. Another pro of ClassPass, you get real-time feedback. As a studio, you really do want your client's feedback on what's working, what's not working, and ClassPass actually does a really great job of making it very difficult for people to book another class before they rate the class that they took previously. I personally think that ClassPass is far superior to MindBody in this way. I actually just went through the other day and saw that I had not rated a class on MindBody in the past six months, so there's a lot of feedback that a lot of studios have not gotten. Now here's where it turns into the con. All of the feedback is anonymous. I actually talked about how I feel about that in this video right up here, but essentially anonymous feedback makes people grow the biggest balls they've ever had in their life. If your name is not attached to something, if you can hide behind your keyboard, all bets are off. Obviously no class is perfect, but there are times where I read these reviews, it's literally like one star review, and it's like, well I didn't read the description of the class, and I didn't know that you could do yoga to hip hop music, one star. How is that my fault that you can't read? Anyway, the feedback is great, but the anonymous feedback really makes people very brave behind their keyboard. Another pro, ClassPass can help you fill empty spots. So as an instructor, I always think that having like a basically full class is usually better than having an almost empty class. ClassPass can help you fill those spots because if they were gonna be empty anyway, you might as well make a little bit of money. Now that leads us into our con. They fill those spots at a heavily discounted price. One of the studios I work for actually told me once that they make $8 off of each ClassPass client. $8. The class is usually $30. I was doing some research and it turns out that every studio has a different negotiated rate of what they get paid per client that books through ClassPass. It seemed like the average, like for a $30 class, the average was about $8 to $10 per client that comes into their space. All right, so I was gonna try and memorize all this because um, professional, but math is like really not my strong suit and I wanna get this right and I'll like put it up on the screen too. But I found a really good example. So if your studio charges $150 for a 10 class pack, your class rate is $15. So if your negotiated percentage is 40%, your payout would be $6. In comparison, if a member bought your 10 class pack and maximized their package, your revenue per class would be $15. And imagine if your member doesn't maximize their package, you'd be retaining even more. I hope that made sense, because like it made sense when I read it, and then when I was just saying it, I was like, oh my god, numbers, this doesn't make any sense, but I hope that made sense. 
We'll find out. And to further this, if studios continue to use ClassPass, they're basically going to be undercutting their own clients because what's gonna happen, they're gonna get less and less money by the more and more popular ClassPass cats, which I will tell you in New York City, more and more popular every single year, and they're not gonna be able to sustain the cost of their classes. So what are they gonna do? They're gonna have to raise their class prices to keep their class pass clients, but now their clients who are paying directly through the studio, they're gonna have to pay more money. And then what's gonna happen with the clients paying more money? Maybe they'll have to stop going because it's too expensive. Maybe they hop on over to class pass because it's cheaper. Obviously not a studio owner, but I work for a few, and I have seen firsthand this exact scenario happening. So I'm realizing now that I totally must spoke at the beginning of the video and said that I had four pros that turn into cons. It was really only three, so I'm gonna let you guys go early. But again, if you wanna check out some more videos on my thoughts about ClassPass, how it impacts the client, the consumer, you can definitely check out those videos here. Subscribe so you don't miss any content, and I will see you guys soon.